The issue here I want to emphasize is that we've got to acknowledge that government can't do everything on its own. We have to work together. We have to do, government will do its part, but we must also create opportunities for you as entrepreneurs to be, to be able to participate. So if we are to look at some of the areas that we are focused on, you'd understand that it is important to also acknowledge that there are fiscal constraints. So if we are to think that funding from government is the sole purpose, alpha and omega, it's not going to work. So partnerships and being able to draw from DFIs and other financing institutions remains critical. But government can play a role to stimulate that partnership. So it's those background and that environment that we've got to understand that increasing the housing, de uh, responding to the increasing housing demand requires multifaceted approach that we've got to take. When we look at the infrastructure and what we want to do, another area that we are focused in is to be able to do away with apartheid special planning. Now, part of our work is to be able to say, we want to bring the workers closer to where they are working or people closer to economic opportunities that exist. One of the projects that we have now started, it's in conceptualization phases, we are engaging in different platforms, is to re rejuvenate the inner cities. I know somebody will say, but there's been a project over years about this thing. How we inter anticipate to do this thing, it's through starting with government employees. Majority of them who are low incomers are sitting in backyards in informal settlements. This is the challenge. Looking at our workers in terms of the burden of responsibilities they have, most of the time they do not have money to take, NSFAS does not qualify their children to go to school, therefore they have to pay for their schools. They can qualify for the bonds because sometimes they are over indebted and also they're spending 70% of their money on transport. There isn't anything left for them to own a property. So therefore, in terms of affordability, they're not able to. So currently we're working with NHFC and I'm flagging this because these are some of the opportunities that would exist. We're working with NHFC to put together a response to our workers in government, both in terms of de-risking them and rehabilitating them so that they can qualify. But once we do that, it means they are going to need this accommodation. And our interest is not for them to go now and, and buy in Soweto and travel to Pretoria. We would want them to stay within the inner city of Pretoria now, or move from Mamilodi to Pretoria. And one of the issues that we are doing is to work together with Comrade Sishe Zigalala, Minister of in Public, Public Works and Infrastructure. We have started to identify the buildings that belong to government in inner cities. So our target, first target is Tswane, Johannesburg, um, Ekurule, no, not Ekurule, uh, Cape Town, and Deben. In PE, we've already done one through social housing within the inner city. There are quite a number that we want to increase, but the focus will be in these densely areas to start responding to them, repurposing old buildings in terms of where they, they have been uh, as offices to residential. Some of the buildings we're starting to have is around your sentin areas and all those things where people can have affordable housing. We don't intend to be the developers of these properties. That I must be clear. It's a headache I don't want, President. My responsibility is to create an conducive environment. You as built environment practitioners and companies, this is a space that you should be able to play.